Hi, my name is Jamie Schmotzer. I'm an instructor with the Old World Alliance, and today it is Memorial Day, so happy Memorial Day. Uh, I wanted to talk about this, this leather tinder pouch that I got from Justin Wolf at Wolf Customs, I don't know, probably six years ago. And I want to tell you what I use this for. Now, many of you are fans of doing flint and steel fires. And if you have any experience doing that, you know that sometimes you, you get uh, material that's a little marginal, might be a little damp, it might be a little coarse, like grapevine or whatever. And what's a big help is to put into the middle of that bird's nest some super fine material. And what I want to show you is right in here. So I'm going to open this up and there's going to be some super fine tinder. Some of it's even six years old. I'm going to start pulling this out. You're going to be amazed at how much comes out of here because I compressed it so much. All right, we've got some tulip poplar bark. There's some cedar. There's a piece of, of uh, birch bark. There's some kind of fluffy material there. You can see there's some of the cedar right there, right? Uh, some of this might even be jute twine. Yeah, I think this was some jute twine that I tore apart, but wait, there's more. There's some kind of real fine dry grass. There's some more cedar, a little bit more birch bark. And all of that was in this little pouch, okay? Now, this would make an absolutely amazing bird's nest by itself, but I would never do that. What I would do is I would take about this much, just that much, and put that in the middle of my bird's nest. So I've got a really fine, see the dust coming off of there? I don't know if that's coming through in the wind, right? This is the gold. And I'll put that in the middle of my bird's nest. And when I put my char cloth on, I'm gonna put it into here. So that I've got super dry, super fine, beautiful material. Anything in here is gonna go up beautifully in a flint and steel fire, okay? All right, see all the you know, dusty stuff coming in there. There's some you know, your flash tinder that'll just blow away in the wind. You know, little bits of birch bark in there. All this beautifulness <laughs> all came out of here, believe it or not. And, and this, I could probably get 100 fires out of this because all this is meant to be is that innermost part that I put the char cloth into, all of this. So with this, I can pretty much guarantee that even if I have a marginal bird's nest or tinder bundle, so long as I can get the char cloth into this and get this lit, the rest is gonna go up. So if you are into doing flint and steel fires like I am, you might wanna think about putting together a tinder pouch that's specifically for that innermost layer of your tinder bundle so that you always have this sort of stuff. And then when you're out collecting tinder, going to make a bird's nest, you can get your grapevine and you can get your, you know, tulip poplar or whatever, but you've got this super fine stuff just ready to go, right? So I'm going to put all this back in here and see how it all magically disappears right into the bottom. And even when I pull it out and process it, I'm going to get all of that dust on this piece of paper that I'm going to dump back in there. Usually when I go out collecting tinder, I'm going to get my dried grasses and I'm going to get some phragmites and I'm going to get all the things that I need to make a good bird's nest. But every once in a while, it needs that little extra bit of help and all this stuff right here is what I use to do that. All right, there we go. And there's even, I mean, there's still room in there for me to put in more if I wanted to. So let's get this in there. This stuff here you sprinkle some of that on top too. There we go. And so this 
It's a good design Justin uh, did here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that to close it. Um, I'm just gonna make a loop, right, and then make another loop. But what's cool about the design of this pouch is that on both sides there's also these little loops. So I can attach that right to my belt pouch or whatever, and I've always got this gold when I need it. See you next time.